Contestant, Jason Cran. Fishing for the King. Fishing for the King, Jason Cran. Well, I wanted to share a little bit about one of my passions. My passion runs deep, and that is that I love to go fishing. Any fishermen out there? People love to go fish? That's right, that's right. So, you know, i got to make sure that I keep myself relaxed, and, you know, when fishing is about relaxation, about accomplishing lots of nothing, right? Yes. So, I figured out one day that, you know, I said, I'm not doing enough fishing, so it's time to do some more fishing. So I set out myself on this plan to find the best fishing in all of the world. And so I called my good friend up north, near Lake Superior, Bob and Doug McKenzie. I tell you, they just they drink so much beer, you would not believe it. And I called them and I said, hey, fellas, I hear you've got a good fishing place up there. What do you think if I come on up? Can you show me around? Tell me what's going on. And he says, eh? Yeah, yeah. That's what he says, by the way, eh? As he drinks. So anyway, we... We make a plan to go up and see Bob up in the lake, and, and uh, so we get up there, and he says, you're at the perfect time of the year. He says, the fish are biting, and he said, the water is beautiful, the weather is wonderful, you're going to have a great time. And so, me and my buddy, we loaded up my gold-plated pinto, we threw my <laughs> kayak on top of it, because that's the way you carry kayaks, right on top, yeah. and then we headed off. So we took our trip. Nice little road trip, got up to Bob, and so he's pointing out on the map, he says, okay, uh, this is the spot. Here's where all the fish are. And he says, you need to go right here. And I said, that's where I'll go. He says, by the way, if you think you've got what it takes, I could tell you about the one fish that no one catches. I said, what? The fish that no one catches, I said, that's right. He says, this is the kingfish. And this fish has been legendary. It's been around for years. And it's big. I mean, it's so big. You know, fish stories, big. <laughs> and so Bob is telling me all about this kingfish. And I said, I'll take that challenge. And so we loaded up my pinto. And we headed on out to the spot where he said was the best place. Now, he also mentioned that his favorite and luckiest bait is this amazing combination of caviar and hot wing sauce. I'm not sure what that's all about, <laughs> but he said that's a true winner. So I said, okay, I'll try it. I'm all, I'm all open for that. All right, so we head on up to the spot, put our kayaks in the water, and we're just out there having a good time. Mm -hmm. It's a beautiful day. And I'm fishing. And of course, you can't do any fishing unless you've got your pro peel pocket fisherman, right? All right. Yeah. <laughs> so you're after fishing, catching fish. And guess what? I'm catching so many fish that my kayak, you get a stringer. You put the stringer, holds all the fish right. Well, all of a sudden, I'm, I'm kind of going down the lake like this <coughs> because there's so many fish, it's just hanging down. I got butterfly fish. I've got swordfish, that's right. I <laughs> caught a few flounder that day. <laughs> but you know, I was still, I still had to find the king. I've been looking for the king. And so I was like, well, okay, it's time for a little lunch. So I kind of spot me a little spot off to the side, and, and I threw, threw it on out there. I said, well, we'll see what happens. I'll have you a little sandwich. So I opened up my spam and black olive sandwich, had a couple bites, and I was like, that's pretty good. I'm really enjoying it. And then all of a sudden, bam! I was like, oh my gosh. And all of a sudden, my fishing rod's going like this, and it's pulling the drag, and you know what it does the drag, and it's just going crazy. And I'm like, oh my gosh, and it starts to catch on fire, it was pulling so bad. I was like, this has got to be the king. But I was afraid to hold on. I was afraid I was going to break the line. I put 300 pound test line on it and I was still afraid. So I said, okay. I said, all right. I gotta make my move here soon. But you know what? He was pulling so hard 
that my kayak was pulling and I felt like I was on a jet ski. <laughs> oh, look at the place. I said, this king, he ain't going to be me. I'm going to be him. So I said, I'm going to lock it down. Lord, help me get the king. So I said, get here. And I'm fighting. And we're going crazy. And I've got And one hour passes. One hour, another passes. Three hours later, I'm still going. <laughs> I said, I'm going to win. And I see him. He's starting to get weak. And I said, I'm claiming victory. And so I see the fish. He's moving up around the side of the kayak. I said, i got to get him in the kayak. It doesn't count if I get that. i got to get that fish, that selfie picture, right? And I said, okay. I get my net out, and I scoop him up, and I flip him into the boat. Now, as I flip him, I was like, oh, my gosh. I'm going to get my car against winter wet, but I'll have to take a sacrifice. So I put him in the boat, and I'm like, oh my gosh, what do I got to do? There he is. I got I to gotta get a picture. So I bend around to get my camera, and I look back around, and the fish, he turns around, and he looks right at me. <laughs> and he says, honka, honka, bird, and <laughs> 